Why can some people drink or smoke socially, while for others, substances destroy their lives? Why can some people bounce back from adversity, while others struggle to cope? Sometimes it may seem like addiction is beyond your actions and choices. Maybe it's in your genes. So, does anyone else in your family struggle with alcoholism? I feel like my whole family's been addicted to alcohol. Like, my mother's been addicted, my uncle and my grandfather. Like, people judge me because of my addiction, but like, they, they, they call me weak because I drink too much. But like, they, they say like, I, I wasn't raised right because of my drinking. And I, I feel like as soon as I tried alcohol, it was over. Addiction is a complex condition which is defined as a chronic, relapsing disorder characterized by compulsive drug seeking, continued use despite harmful consequences, and long lasting changes in the brain. It is classified as both a disease of the brain and a mental illness related to the reward and motivation pathways in the brain. Recent studies have shown that there is a genetic component involved in addiction. By studying identical twins, researchers were able to determine the heritability of different substances. It was found that hallucinogen addiction is the least heritable, while cocaine addiction is the most heritable. Agents such as caffeine and alcohol are on the higher end of this scale. So, has your addiction impacted those around you? So my children, they have like an extensive family history, and that's partly because of me and like they, they've never touched drugs or alcohol, alcohol in their life and I'm really grateful for that. So like I really want to know like what fuels this addiction so I can prevent it in my children. And I've met alcoholics with like no family history and yet they're still alcoholics. So I'm really confused as to like how to prevent this from being an issue. While a genetic component of addiction has been identified, environmental factors still play a huge role in whether or not someone will develop an addiction. As with many other diseases, having a certain set of genes gives an individual a genetic predisposition. This means that an individual has an increased likelihood of developing the disease based on their genetic makeup. Scientists have determined that half the risk for addiction is genetic. However, having a predisposition does not mean that the disease will manifest in the individual with 100% certainty. These genes influence the way your brain develops and how your brain will respond to different environmental influences. Scientists have shown that the environment plays a particularly important role in the teenage years. When teens are first discovering drugs and alcohol, their consumption of these substances is more dependent on the availability of the substances, the pressure from their peers, and the supervision from their family. As teens mature and grow into adults, their environment begins to have less impact. Those with no genetic predisposition may become casual or social drinkers, while those with the genetic predisposition are more likely to become addicted. While these are the general trends, there are many other factors influencing addiction. Trauma and mental illness can also play huge roles, regardless of the genetic makeup of an individual. Addiction is a complex disease, similar to obesity, Scientists do not fully understand all of the components that lead to an individual becoming addicted to a substance, but studying the genetics of addiction is a step in the right direction. So, now you've learned about this, what do you plan on doing? So I think I have to talk to my family and, and tell them about my struggles and, and help them develop coping mechanisms. And I think the best way forward is to communicate and help them make better, healthy decisions and. I wasn't aware that because of my family history I was more at risk, but knowing that, I think it's an important step to help like prevent my young children from having the same issues as me. Your genes may predispose you to many different diseases, but they also make you, you. 
You cannot control your genetics, but predisposition is not a certainty. There are many other factors which can be controlled, which will allow you to live your life the way you want to.